If you're a basketball fan, you know your team's big stars, head coach, maybe even the rookie bench warmers. But you probably know very little about the PhD mathematicians like this woman. Her job is to crunch the numbers of the game. We're all in sort of an arms race to acquire information. And she's turning basketball into a hard, cold science. My name is Ivana Sheric, and I'm a data scientist. For many years, Philly was a tough place to be a basketball fan. But having reached the top eight in the playoffs for a second season in a row, the 76ers right now are in a renaissance. And B fakes and B down the lane! Just across the river is where the team's been hard at work. And it's where I went to go meet Ivana in April. This 125,000 square foot facility comes with all the features you'd expect from an NBA training complex. It also features the office of people like Ivana, who support the team behind the scenes. My job involves analyzing the data that we have from NBA games. My focus is mostly on the coaching strategy. The coaches have a lot of intuition, they know the game, they know the players, but we try to complete their, their picture of the players with data which is hopefully unbiased. Ivana is part of the Sixers' 10-person analytics team. The work of these statisticians has already forced a profound change in the game of basketball. Teams are taking more three-point shots. MP for three! Even though we make them a lower percentage than the shots closer to the basket, but they're worth more points and the trade-off actually pays off. Take a look at this clip from the 80s. See how all the players are bunched up right by the hoop? Compare that with today. More and more of the action is taking place at the three-point line. Of course, it's not just basketball that's been reshaped by analytics. Businesses of all kinds are tracking a ton of information they never tracked before, thanks to new sensors, improvements in computing power, and plummeting costs in data storage. Data scientists are the people making sense of that information with a combination of statistics and computer programming. The profession's expanded rapidly in recent years and comes with an average salary of $130,000 a year. Much of the data Ivana works with comes from technology the NBA adopted in 2013. Every NBA arena has cameras that record the games and then from those cameras, they can extract player locations on a court. These cameras record 25 frames per second. So for each basketball game, there's a million of rows of data. And that allows Ivana to analyze plays that were previously difficult to track. For example, take the pick and roll. It's one of the most important plays in basketball. It involves one player setting up a human shield to help a teammate shake off an opponent. So we can look at each player, how much they run pick and rolls and how, how good they are uh, at that. And then we can select a player and see how often he's going to pass out of the pick and roll, how often he's going to shoot. And how would that help you develop a strategy for the coaches? Uh, so we could, we could, for example, this player, he's going to pass uh, pretty frequently. We can say this to the coaches and they're going to uh, decide on the defensive strategy for the player. But this makes Ivana's job look simpler than it actually is, because she spends a lot of her time coding to extract the information she needs. And I tried really hard to get her to talk about what exactly she looks for. And there's some stuff that you do that's beyond just these interfaces that you showed me today, right? Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's like a trade secret. Yes, NBA is a very competitive league, so whatever can give us that advantage, we we'll try to keep it. When advising the coaches with her analysis, Ivana has a decided advantage over many of her peers. I started playing when I was seven years old, uh -huh. and I just loved it from the first day. I think because the game is so dynamic and there's so many different skills. Like what I wanted to do since I was seven years old, really. Uh -huh. I wanted to be a professional basketball player. Yeah. At 19, Ivana moved from her home in Croatia to New Jersey to go to college on a basketball scholarship. And while she was a star player on her Division I team, she was also an exceptional math student. Much of her life has been like that, balancing her love of basketball with her love of math. Like, I always thought I'm gonna have to choose between the two. I went to graduate school 
And that's when I really thought that, okay, this is really, I'm really choosing one or the other this time. And um, so I, I thought I really chose just math. The plan was to become a researcher or a professor. Then, three years into pursuing her PhD in math, she heard that MBA teams were starting to hire data scientists. But only 26% of data scientists are women, and Ivana didn't like her odds. When I saw the job posting, I, I didn't think I would actually get the job. I thought because being a woman in, in a, such a male-dominated field, I would, they would never really consider me or give me a fair shot. But this prediction turned out to be wrong. She's got both the technical and basketball backgrounds, which is sort of the ideal mix. Her ability to kind of capture these kind of complex insights and then share them with players, with coaches, uh, with executives in a way that makes sense to us uh, is super valuable and frankly not that common. The next evening, I attended my very first NBA game. It was the last game of the regular season before the playoffs and my chance to catch up with the ultimate beneficiary of Ivana's work, the Sixers head coach, Brett Brown. The team has had a great season so far. What role do you think analytics has played in that success? I mean, I think it's played a significant role in our success and in many, many others. The NBA playoffs are gonna start in three or four days and immediately we'll get sort of an analytical assessment on the strengths or weaknesses of an opponent. Um, you can assess play calls, good or bad ones, ones you should do more, ones you should avoid. Really, I think it's going to continue to grow and play a uh, significant role in uh, the design of organizations and coaching staff's beliefs. That night, even though none of the starting players played in the game, the Sixers ended up crushing the Bulls. A month later, the Sixers ended up advancing to the conference semifinals and suffered a tough defeat at the hands of the Toronto Raptors. Is this the dagger? No! Ivana and her colleagues will keep looking for ways to help their team do better in the seasons ahead. But the Sixers' victories on the court won't be the only way she's measuring her success. It's, it's really exciting to be able to show young girls that they can actually have careers, but it also feels like a big responsibility because um, if I don't do well, it's, it's gonna seem like a woman cannot do this job because there are not so many of us. It, it's a big part of what motivates me every day uh, to, to be able to, to show uh, young girls that they can succeed in, in STEM fields and, and in sports.